second video for refraction through glass lab in this video we will be finding the expression of lateral displacement what is lateral displacement first of all you know that when a ray of light emerges from a glass lab the emergent ray is parallel to the path of incident ray the shift in the path of incident ray that is caused by this glass prism right the ray would have gone like this ye is tarah se aage chali jati but due to presence of glass lab the ray is shifted like this so this distance of shifting of the ray is known as lateral displacement or parallel displacement right i have marked some angles over here so first concentrate on the diagram angle of incidence this is angle of refraction now see these two are vertically opposite angles okay that means this total angle should be equal to angle i out of which r has been removed so this angle becomes angle i minus r d is the amount of lateral displacement okay a b is incident ray b c is refracted ray c d is the emergent ray okay once you understand the diagram then we can move to the derivation the first thing in the derivation find the sine of this angle and cos of this angle how will you remember it first find the sine of this angle and cos of this angle so you have to find sin i minus r in the triangle just see this is the angle concerned sin will be opposite side over hypotenuse so for this angle what is the opposite side it is d and what is the hypotenuse it is equals to bc so sin i minus r is equals to d upon bc now find cos of this cos is what it is adjacent side upon hypotenuse so for this angle this side which is equal to the thickness of glass slab ye jo adjacent side hai is triangle ki it is equal to the thickness of glass slab adjacent side upon hypotenuse what is hypotenuse bc so what is cos r cos r is equals to t upon bc all right now after finding these two here also bc and here also bc is there from these two equations find the value of bc d upon sin i minus r equals to t upon cos r now from these two terms find the value of d t sin i minus r this goes over here upon cos r do you know the expansion of sin alpha plus beta sin alpha dot cos beta minus cos alpha dot sin beta in the same way expand sin i minus r this becomes sin i cos r minus cos i sin r when i divide this first term by cos r then this and this they will be cancelling out and what is left only sin i is left and when i separate this yahan pe is term ko cos r se divide karne par kuch bhi cancel nahi hota hai so we keep this as it is okay now apply snell's law for point b point b ke liye snell's law likhte hain kya hoga the ray is coming from air to glass so the refractive index will be refractive index of glass with respect to air which is equal to sin of angle of i upon sin of angle r so this refractive index i will be writing it as n only no need to rewrite this again as nga nga all the times so you can simply write it once that n means nga and that is equals to sin i by sin r why i am doing this yahan se mujhe lateral displacement ka final equation mil gaya to main ye kyun kar raha hu why because i want to eliminate two things from here one is sin r and other is cos r i want to eliminate the angle of refraction because this is glass i can measure the angles which are in the air i cannot measure those angles which are in the glass तो मुझे उसको रिप्लेस करने के लिए कुछ ऐसी टर्म चाहिए जो या तो मुझे पहले से पता हो या मैं उन्हें मेजर कर पाऊं सो फ्रॉम हियर अब यहां से एक ही काम करना है यू हैव टू एलिमिनेट साइन आर एंड कॉस आर सो हाउ टू डू दैट 
using Snell's law, find the value of sin r, which is sin i upon n, and put this value in this equation. Put this value of sin r over here. Let us go. The next part, d, t as it is, sin i as it is, cos i is as it is, cos r bhi vaise hi hai, only sin r is replaced, sin i upon n. One replacement is done. Now from here, sin i is in the first term, sin i is in the second term also, sin i can be taken common outside. What is left? n cos r, abhi cos r eliminate nahi hua hai, but bada easily ho jayega. What is cos theta? Square root of 1 minus sin square theta. So cos r is equals to square root of 1 minus sin square r. And again over here, put this value of sin r. Yehi wali value sin r ki. Yaha pe aap put kar de. What do you get is? Sin square i upon n square. Make this n as the common denominator by taking the LCM n square minus sin square i upon n square. Now see, this is in numerator, this is in denominator. See, this is n square, lekin iske upar ek root bhi hai. So what is the actual power of n? It is 1. So this and this, they again get cancelled out and this is the final equation. d is equals to t sin i 1 minus cos i root of n square minus sin square i. Right? So later displacement ka mathematics hume yaha se pata chal gaya. Now suppose on what two things does the lateral displacement depends? It depends basically on the refractive index. It depends which you cannot change. Refractive index of a medium you cannot change. It again depends on T, thickness of a glass slab. Agar glass slab aap khud bana rahe ho, you can change it. If you are not making it, agar aapko de diya gaya hai glass lab, so you cannot even change the value of t. The value of angle i, you can change. The value of angle i, you can change. So, abhi is angle i ki value ko aap badhate jao. This is i. Isko re ko aise bejo. Angle i increases or aise bejo. Angle i increases. Kitna bada sakte ho, you can maximum make it like this. Incident re ke path ko aap ye wala kar sakte ho. When incident ray is like this, what is the angle of incidence? It's 90. So when angle I is equals to 90, cos 90, 0 ho gaya, ye term puri 0. Sin I is equals to 1. So D into 1 into 1 is what? Is equals to T. So if angle of incidence is 90, then lateral displacement is equals to T. Lateral displacement kitna ho jayega? Lateral displacement aapke glass ki thickness ke equal ho jayega. Lekin usse kabhi zada nahi ho sakta. If you want that D should exceed T, D ki value thickness of glass slab se zada ho jaye, to aapko angle 90 se badhana padega jo ki yaha possible nahi hai. To whatever is the value of lateral displacement, it is always less than or equal to the thickness of glass slab. Although the derivation is long, but it is really an important derivation. So I suggest all of you to practice and learn this.